Buenos dias, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel and for the newcomers, my name is Didi Taihutu and yes, I am the guy that with his family almost five years ago sold literally everything we own, went all into Bitcoin, we survived the bear market, we are still alive and still living this all in crypto life 24-7 already for almost five years guys. Now coming to you guys from Alicante in Spain where we will stay for a couple of days before we go to Mexico. In today's video we're talking about Bitcoin, blockchain and life. But I need to keep it short because the upload speed here in Spain is at the moment terrible so I need to do a new concept short videos but not too short because it needs to be 8 to 10 minutes for YouTube to be discovered by the algorithm and to be monetizing the channel because we monetize the channel to take that revenue into a fund that we will use to help poor people all over the world so from now till the next couple of days till we leave to Mexico I will do a new concept very short point-to-point -point subjects and videos without talking too much like I am doing already now. Enjoy today's video. BAM! First things first, of course, happy Bitcoin 50k day, 16 February 2021 will now for always be remembered as Bitcoin 50k day because that was the first day we picked above 50k. If we stayed a little time above 50k, let's see if we can close the day above 50k as well. But this day now goes into history, Bitcoin 50k day, bam, on this heat map, Bam! You could already see that there was a lot of sales around 50k and that the support is around 46k. That is what you can see on these heat maps. The support and the resistance. We need to break the resistance, but else, and if we don't break it, we fall back to the support. If we break the resistance, we go to the next target. The first target, guys, is 50k. Then we have a target on 54k. Then we have a target of 57k. And then we have a target of 60k. And then we have a target of 63k. Beautiful targets in Bitcoin. If we are able to break the 50k resistance first, stay above the 50k, go up, come back, Test the 50k as a support area then, and then BAM! Take off to 60k. On this next 4 hour chart, this one, BAM! You can see the levels of support, and you can see the targets that we are aiming for. The levels of support is first the 21MA, this is the yellow line. That one is around 48,000 US dollar. Then the 50 MA, the 50 moving average, that one is around 46,700 US dollar. Then we have the 100 MA. That one is around 38,000 US dollar per Bitcoin. These are always lines of huge support for Bitcoin. If we look back to the left on the chart, you can see in history that these lines has acted as support every time again and again and again. So yes, it could mean we fall all the way back to the 100 MA, which is around 38K. I don't believe this. But everything is possible in Bitcoin. I focus on the targets and the targets they are around 54k, 58k and then all the way up to 65k. That are the numbers in my head. I'm not looking at the support anymore. I'm just buying every dip. I'm adding Bitcoins to my portfolio every time. I earn Bitcoins every day because I believe in the Bitcoin revolution and I want to hold my Bitcoins because I believe Bitcoin will go to 100k, maybe even to a million in the far future. Bam. You can see in this tweet from Plan B last week, this one, on this tweet you can see that, that most people expect Bitcoin to go to 100k, 45% of the votes went for the 100k answer. The second most expected scenario is 280k, 288k with 40% of the voters. Then 8% of the people thought that we will go to 55k and then fall. They still could be right, we never know. And around 7% thought we would never go higher than 55k. Let's see who was right on this really cool Plan B tweet. Bam! I think that was already all the TA part. So now let's jump into the blockchain news part. The part that I tell talk to you about, the news that I read this morning during my coffee. This part. Bam! 
He heard many times, many times about the graph. Everybody was like, check the graph, check the graph, check the graph. I want, I wanted to check the graph, but I just didn't have time to check the graph. Now I was forced to check the graph because I saw this article on Coin Telegraph about the graph. They are exploring to integrate eight more first layer projects like Bitcoin, like Polkadot, Cosmos, like Solanus, like Avalanche, like Binance Small Chain and another few. So they want to integrate these layers now into the graph. What is the graph? That is your question now. I will try to simplify it and keep it short because I need to spend no more than 10 minutes because else my upload will kill me again. So the, the graph is an agnostic blockchain so that can adapt to all the other blockchains. It's like a peer-to-peer -peer network of storing data. A complete agnostic blockchain that is functioning as a peer-to-peer -peer network in storing data. That is really cool. Think about it. I will dig deeper into the graph now because I think it's really interesting what they built. And I'm going back to you guys when I have more time and I will come back to you guys on this project when I have more time to talk because now I need to keep it short. But, but do your own research. I know they already have 7,000 subgraphs and more than 10,000 developers developing on the graph. So I think 2021 will be a huge year for the graph. Check them out. Do your own research. Bam! So the long-term holders are selling their Bitcoins. I don't believe that. I don't even see this because how and why would you sell your long-term holding stack in Bitcoin? You hold it all the way to 50k and then you decide to sell. I don't believe this. And we can see on the, and we can see that the miners don't want to do this as well. The miners are hodling their Bitcoins. Yes, they dumped Bitcoin in January. Like you can see on this chart, bam, this, this big red area. That was the 2021 January dump of the miners. But now you can see this decreasing red area going into February. And I don't believe that miners will sell any more Bitcoins because they also believe that Bitcoin is going to go to 60, 70, 80, 90, 100K before they will sell their next hugely amount of mined bitcoins be aware this is very positive in my opinion bam another more news guys you know that i am an ambassador for paid network and paid network i need to update you are doing hugely they are doing amazing their dollar their token is now worth four dollar we have been flying around four dollar we even went to five dollar we came back to three and a half dollar we are now around four dollar this token is being stable because they are launching huge projects with the ignition Please do your research after paid network and not just because I'm part of the team, but because they are building something really cool and it will have a massive influence on, on all the legal stuff that you don't want to be messing around with. But they do and they do in a very smart way with smart contracts. And that is why paid network will grow tremendously in 2021. I think it's a gem of 2021 and not only because I'm part of it, but because of the whole team that is part of the paid network group guys master ventures all the people all the influencers it is a very cool project yes still a beautiful price to start to invest in no financial advice just a dude in spain walking on the streets with the flip-flops in his shorts cheap t-shirt a guy that just has some experience in this industry and is used to picking some gems every bull run and this is one of them bam get paid now the last part of the video guys yes we are going to mexico hiba, 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 handle is that mexican i think it is i keep saying this it's because i watch these videos of uh, this small mouse what is his name again oh my god he was speedy gonzalez and he was always saying hiba, 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 handle. and i thought he was mexican because of that but don't talk so much did he because we need to keep the video yours that was really fast i need to be faster than eminem with rapping but um yes the part that we go to mexico we did a tweet because we didn't know where to go Cancun, Playa de Carmen, Tulum or any other place. The biggest uh, the biggest part of all the Twitter followers said did he go to Tulum? Tulum is beautiful. It has this culture. It has this hippie vibe. It is exactly what you love and the beaches are awesome. I just saw the prices. They are also awesome. <laughs> 
<laughs> but we will find some cheap solution over there. Thanks for all the people for reacting and helping us with this Mexico trip. And um, yes, thanks to the whole community already in Tulum that is of now already warmly welcoming, welcoming me with WhatsApp and Telegram messages. Okay, that already feels like home. So maybe we will stay even longer than six weeks. We will see. But let's see how Tulum um, is for us and the family. A lot of crypto people there. I'm looking forward to see MM Crypto again. I'm looking forward to see Carl again. I'm looking forward to first in my life meet this DJ 15. Uh, so I'm looking forward to more to meet like this whole whole crypto vibe there in Tulum. They even have a Bitcoin meetup every Tuesday. The, the guy that I spoke already to him, the, the organizer, and he's also uh, living there with his family. Man, this is going to be awesome. Mexico is going to be awesome. I will keep it short. Hopefully you like this video. If you did like the video, give the video a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and family. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. And please leave a comment as I love to respond to your comments. Guys, hopefully the uploading won't take 24 hours again. <laughs> but we will see how the internet is performing today here in Alicante, Spain. Thanks for watching. Always remember to zoom out in Bitcoin and to zoom in at life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day as that is exactly what life should be about. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you tomorrow again. And let me know down below the comments if you loved this very speedy Gonzalez concept and short to the point subjects. Bam!